T-shirt design template PSD file, anybody? If you are looking for a t-shirt design template that you can use in Photoshop, stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm going to show you how to create your very own t-shirt design template using Photoshop. Hey, it's your girl Steph Rodness, founder and CEO of Godwood Girl, creator of the Godwood Girl School of Business. And my purpose in life is to connect you with the resources you need to achieve your purpose in life. So if the Lord has purposed you to be a Christian entrepreneur, but you're not quite sure how to get it done, make sure you subscribe to the Godwood Girl YouTube channel because that's all we do here, sis. And if you're ready for a t-shirt design template for Photoshop, take a look at what we got here. Let's dive into my computer real quick. All right, sis, so here we are in my computer and I am recording my screen for you so I can show you how to create your own t-shirt design PSD templates from scratch so you can um, create your own designs for your t-shirt. So here we are in Photoshop. I have Adobe Photoshop CC 2018 is the latest version that I have. And if you want the Adobe Creative Cloud Suite, definitely check it out. It's, one of, it's been one of the biggest blessings in my life. So the first thing you wanna do is click right over here where it says create new. And now it says new document, um, custom, 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 all this stuff. Right over here on the side, you're just going to change this to where it says pixels. Right here, you're going to change the width to 1,000, and you're going to change the height to 1,000. You want to keep the resolution at 300, and you want to keep your color mode at RGB color. Some people like to switch it to CMYK, but I just designed my t-shirts in... Um, in RGB and I haven't had a problem so far <laughs> and then I'm gonna name this t-shirt design template PSD over here oh sorry where it says background contents you want to have a transparent background so click where it says transparent and then right here click create so now we have a beautiful little template that we can design with so go ahead and choose your color that you want your shirt to be or the um the graphic on your shirt to be so you just click this little square here and then you choose your color so for me i want mine to be black so i'm going to drag it all the way down to this corner if you have a specific color code that you like to use you can actually type it in here or if you just want to play around on the color wheel and see if there's a color that you like you can just play around like that choose whichever color you'd like just remember to click this so that it switches over to an actual rgb color so i'm just going to go with all black and i'm going to click ok and then you're going to go over here to this T. This is the type tool. You're going to click that T and you're just going to choose what font you want. So I've downloaded my own fonts into um, my, my computer. I have a Mac and you can download your own fonts too. And you can also use the fonts that already come with your system. So I know Ariel, Ariel Black, Ariel Normal. These are all fonts that a lot of people use regularly and it comes with your system. So I'm just going to use Ariel. Once you have selected your font, you can go ahead and click into your template. You're going to click into your template, okay? So this font right now, mine is set pretty big. If you want to adjust it, you can just hover over this T and drag it down, drag it up, or you can just click into it and drag a different type. So this is 72. And let's say I want my t-shirt to say Stephanie. I'm creating a collection for people named Stephanie. <laughs> So I just go ahead and type it in, and now I can double click it, because I made a mistake here. I want that to be lowercase. So cool, I have my, my design. And in order to make it fit, because I wanted to make it fit all over the corners, I can just click it, hit Command T on a Mac, and scale it. Hit Enter, and now it fills the entire frame. What you can also do is double click it here, and then just keep dragging up, until it fits the entire frame on that text box. Either way works perfectly. And I like to put mine kind of up at the top just so I can adjust the design as necessary when I upload it to whatever t-shirt printer I decide to use. There's some other cool things you can do in Photoshop. So if I click it, and then I click this little paragraph right over here and select character, I can actually play with the spacing between my letters so I can make it a little less spaced out. Um, and then I can also add like underline if I wanted to or something like that. There's a lot of things you can do here in Photoshop. So let's say the last thing that I want to do is I want to add, um, let's say a box around this, right? Just to make it stand out a little bit more. Right over here on the left, I can select this shape tool. And I'm going to go ahead and select the rectangle tool. And for fill, up here it says shape, fill, stroke. 
So I don't want it to have any fill. I want the inside of the rectangle to be empty, but I do want it to have an outline. My color that I used was black, so I do want it to be black. And I want the line to be pretty thick. So for now, let me do, I'm just gonna drag this up to like 7.41, see how we like that. Then I'm gonna just design, I'm just gonna drag, hit my cursor inside of the template, drag it down and release. And now I have this beautiful box. So let me do that again. I'm just gonna click inside of the template, drag to the right and release. And now I have this gorgeous little box. So I'm loving that box over here on the right. I'm just going to put it below the Stephanie. So I have an easier time moving my Stephanie and I'm going to click the cursor and just adjust the box so that my Stephanie is kind of center. Looks like I'm going to need to change up my sizing just a little bit, just to make sure the Stephanie is nice and center. Okay, perfect. So now I've got my t-shirt designed exactly how I want it. And now what I can do is go to file and do save as. And I'm going to name this t-shirt design Stephanie. And right over here where it says Photoshop, I'm going to change that to PNG. And that ensures that I'm printing a transparent file. I like to do the largest file size, but you can do the smallest file size. I like to do the largest just so it, remain, it retains its quality. Hit save. And now I have my t-shirt design that I'm going to use when I actually print my shirt. So let me go ahead and open it up for you so you can actually see it. It is the t-shirt design template.png. Here it is. Okay, so let me go ahead and share my screen so you can see this template. I'm gonna hit share, and this is my final file. So this is what I would use to go ahead and um, upload this to my t-shirt design printer that I select and print my Stephanie shirts on demand. So that's how you use Photoshop in order to create your own t-shirt design template. And what's really cool is that in Photoshop, once you have this template selected, you can now go and create as many designs as you want to. So let's say I want to create a really cool Stephanie shirt that says the word that says my name over and over and over again. So right over here, I can just drag the Stephanie down over the um, layer option down here, and then it'll duplicate it. Now I can take that and drag it down, and then I can do that again and again and again, and have this really cool Stephanie name shirt <laughs> that says my name over and over and over and over again, so that if I wanna go out and have everybody know that my name is Stephanie, I can have this really cool shirt option. So that's just a couple of things that you can do in order to make a really cool t-shirt design, and you know what, I actually may end up printing this shirt. I think it's really cute. Um, <laughs> and I would print this on like a white background. So I would just go back to file, save as PNG, and then I could go ahead and print this shirt as well. So let's dive back onto camera. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial of how to create your own t-shirt design template PSD file in Photoshop. If you have any questions, comment down below and make sure you hit that like button if you want me to create more tutorials like this one. And it says, if you need a little help launching your own Christian t-shirt business online, make sure you grab my free launch your t-shirt business checklist by clicking the link in the description box below this video. And if you haven't already subscribed to the God to Grow YouTube channel, hit that subscription button. My goal for this channel is for it to be the number one resource for every woman of faith who wants to live her greatest purpose for Christ as a Christian entrepreneur. So if that's you, hit that subscription button. And God willing, I'll see you at Godlywood Girl. Hey, no, no, no. hey love, thanks so much for watching this video on my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and click the subscribe button so you can get brand new videos that God Will Grow releases. My mission with the God Will Grow YouTube channel is for it to empower at least 5 million women of Christ to get unstuck, stop feeling frustrated, and start living God's greatest purpose for their lives. So if you want to join that movement, make sure you click the link below to join me in the God Will Grow School of Purpose, where I literally teach you how to start living God's greatest purpose for your life step by step. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.